Hello, my name is Neil Sandu. I'm the product manager for Machine Vision at SIG UK. So this is the Inspector i40. The Inspector i40 is a vision sensor with inbuilt LED lighting. Now lighting is critical when we do vision inspection because you need to have a repeatable robust image to make sure you're seeing the same type of picture every time. Also within here is smart intelligence that has vision tools. Vision tools that, that do inspection in terms of positional measurement tools and also reporting on quality quality information and this can all be sent out over Ethernet back to the, the customer so they can see exactly what's going on. The housing as you can see on this is a very robust metallic form. It's also rated at IP67 so it can stand a lot of tough industrial environments. So some of the applications we also do in the food and beverage area concern something that's very very important which is what we call use by dates so as a, as a customer you go to the supermarket you buy something that's got a best before your use by date what we can do with the inspector i40 is actually teach it to, to know where that text should be on the actual packaging that you're, you're buying and also what that text should look like to make sure that it's legible and so we work with a lot of suppliers to the retail industry and a lot of the suppliers to the supermarkets to say we can guarantee to make sure that the code, the best before date as it were, is actually on there and legible which is extremely important for the, for the supermarket and they will uh, actually not be very happy if the supplier is not giving them that sort of guarantee and charges have, could be levied. Another, another instance in the food and beverage industry is the um, looking at uh, logos and labels on different types of products. The products let's say that have different flavours, let's take ice cream for example, where we can teach the actual pattern or logo of the actual flavour itself into the system and it knows if we're looking for chocolate or strawberry or vanilla for example it'll know to look for that particular type and therefore if it doesn't see one let's say somebody unfortunately has loaded the wrong labels on a reel that get applied to the actual container containing the ice cream it'll actually pick that up and say hang on we've got the wrong one let's, let's, let's hold here and make sure we, we're doing something right and then you can wait for manual intervention other areas we see for the inspector and more specifically the i40 are within the automotive industry we have the sort of the two streams we have the tier one suppliers who are supplying directly to the assembly plants and we have the assembly plants and the end customers if you like the oems for the for the uh, car manufacturers themselves when it comes to tier one suppliers they're shipping their parts directly to the assembly line because as we know most cars are manufactured in the just-in-time uh, philosophy so plastic inserts uh, seats and the way that seats are manufactured even with all the right cable looms on um, even with um, little of the electrical um, circuitry and the electrical switches you know when you're pressing your I don't think the cigarette lighters anymore but the heaters or the wipers where you have the logos on we check those all of those things can be done with Inspector i14 we've done all those sorts of things to make sure when those tier one suppliers are supplying directly to the assembly plants they're supplying products that are worthy because if obviously if you stop production of the car assembly plants it costs a fair bit of money and when it comes to the assembly plants themselves we work with them directly in terms of when they're assembling the whole car itself so we look for making sure the panels that they're producing let's say for something like a door or even on a, on a, on a window panel they are actually manufactured to the right standards they have the holes in the right place we can even pick up the position so the robot can pick it up correctly as well to make sure it's picking up at the right place we look for adhesive because a lot of cars nowadays aren't welded they're glued and so we look for the glue bead actually on these panels and we can see that with the inspector to make sure there's enough of the glue and it's in the right place to make sure when the cars are adhered together. 